Nice. All right, ladies and gents, settle your bum down into the chair. Let the soles of your feet relax. Just start to bring your awareness into your breath and feel it expand and release in your body. Soles of your feet connect to the ground, crown of your head tall. Perhaps your eyes are closed, your hands resting in your lap. Just starting to become nicely aware of the movement of breath in your body. Feeling that breath move up and down your spine. Noticing if you're breathing in and out through your nose or your mouth. And if it's possible for you today to let that breath come in and out through your nose. Sit bones relax, crown of your head stretches. Let's lift the shoulders right up to the ears and then roll them down your back. Give yourself two more of those. Shoulders roll down the back. Lifting up, rolling down. Nice work. Inhale the fingers all the way up to the sky. So do two things. One, pull the shoulders down. Let your neck feel really long and straight. And then shrug the shoulders so it feels like you're just Lifting them right up to your ears. Pull them down. Lift them up. Pull them down. Now, if this feels crazy, then maybe you're going to do it from this pose, right? You can do it with elbows wide if it feels better in your body. Nice work. All right, everyone bring your well elbows wide. And then slide the shoulder blades open on the back body and squeeze them closed. Slide them open and squeeze them closed. Relax your chin. Let the back of your neck feel soft. Yeah. Opening up those elbows nice and wide. Where's your breath with this movement? One's an inhale, one's an exhale. It doesn't really matter to me which way you go. Nice. And then bring your hands into your heart. Roll those shoulders down your back again and start to twist the whole spine. Twisting to the right, bringing yourself to center and the opposite way. Breathe out to twist. Breathe in to bring everything back to center. Breathe out to twist. If you keep your thumbs connected to your sternum and you keep your chin floating across the fingertips, you will isolate the rib cage in the mid back. And that's our aim right now. Nice. Okay, so as you come back to center, bring the fingertips to the ends of your knees and just do your seated cat cow pose. So your back will arch behind you, your chin will tuck into your chest, and then draw everything up, lifting your heart, rolling your shoulders down your back. Maybe the chin will lift and back again. Slide with your breath. Slowly move between one pose and the next. Nice. 
and then bring yourself back to center. Good. So um, hands come to heart and then let's expand the palms out to the side and then just turn your whole body to the right, back to center, to the left. Nice, good, and then slide your um, hands down to the side, left arm crosses the body, right elbow tucks up and under. So this bottom hand just pulls the left arm closer so you feel like you're getting a stretch in through that shoulder. And then release that side, take the right arm across your body and that left elbow tucks up, pulls in and draws everything into center. Nice. Good. As you let go now, um, I want you to bring one hand to your heart. So let's take left hand to heart, right arm opens to the side and then just pull that hand way back behind you. Release it and pull that right arm way back behind you. Come back to center, put the hand on heart and do the same here. Pulling that hand back behind you. Pulling that hand back behind you. Nice. There you go. And to center, bring both hands into heart. Inhale the fingers up to the sky. Exhale and drop them down. Breathe in, big circle. Breathe out, hands to heart. Breathe in, big circle. Breathe out, hands to heart. So now we're gonna do the opposite way. I want you to bring your hands up to the ceiling, circle your arms way back behind you and then sweep them to your heart. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Yeah. Hands relax down. Maybe there's three shoulder rolls backwards again. Resting those fingers. Drop your chin into your chest. Sweep the shoulder, the chin up to each shoulder. Gently moving between the two shoulders. Not letting all those creaks and cracks in your neck feel too crazy. Back to center, shin lifts up. Imagine there's pencil lead on the end of your nose and you start to draw a spiral. The spiral gets bigger and bigger. Mm -hmm. And then when you can't Make it any bigger than it is. Let yourself shift and go the opposite way. Yeah. Nice. And back to center again. Yeah. Nose straight out in front of you. Shoulders lift up. Roll down your back. Good. Okay. So right knee lifts and sets down. Left knee lifts. Slide your bum right to the edge of your chair for this one. Couple more, marching, and then come to center. Uh, right knee lifts, and then we kick that right foot forward. Bring the knee in, set it down. Left knee lifts, kick, and down, lift, kick, and down, lift, kick, and down. Good. Pick up the right knee and tap your toe over to the side, bring it back, put it in the middle. Lift the left knee, take it out to the side, tap the toe, bring it back to center. Let's do that two more times on each side. One, my chair is very creaky. Last time on the left. Yeah, sweet work. Starting to get some movement happening in those hips. Just allow the knees to fall out and come back together. Fall out and come back together. One more time. Now walk the feet wide. Bum's still on the edge of the chair. Hands slide right down to the ends of the knees. Drop one shoulder, pull it back. Drop the other shoulder, 
pull it back. Nice work. Sliding back and forth here. Nice. Yes. Good. Dropping one shoulder down to the ground at a time. Yeah. Good. And then come all the way up again. Shoulders shrug up to the ears. Roll them down your back. Nice. Both knees come back into center. And let's walk the knees over to the right side of your chair. I'm going to slide my whole bum onto my chair. And see if you can sit in such a way that your feet can be flat on the floor. Yeah? And then sit bones, nestle into your chair. Lift nice and tall. And then start to turn your shoulders to the back of the chair. Or rest your hands on the back of that chair. Every breath in, nice tall spine. Every breath out, just let yourself sink closer into the twist. So breathe in, feel a long spine. Breathe out, relax your shoulders. Breathe in, have a tall spine. Breathe out, the shoulders relax, and there's a little gentle release into that twist. So just notice how far you can allow the body to roll to the right. Start to let your right chin, your chin float out to the right. Breathing in up and down that spine. Shoulders are relaxed, arms are heavy. We release this pose, chin first, shoulders second. Rib cage third, belly last. Nice work. And then you just allow yourself to slide the left bum cheek off the chair. And the left foot comes back behind you. Good. So from this pose, just push and release that back heel. Push it and release it. Push it and release it. My right arm's going to stay draped on the chair back. Your left hand, if it wants, can lift to the ceiling. If the right arm doesn't want or doesn't need to stay there, they can both go to the sky. Good. Let's bring the hands down. Maybe one to hip, one to chair back. And then stretch this back leg as far as it will go. I want you to press into the front foot. So this pose is almost we're going to lift up and sit back down again. Push into the feet and, and sit back down again. Don't let yourself push into your hands. Yeah. Notice how I've got buoyancy in both knees. Both knees are straightening a little bit, then bending a little bit. One more and set down. Good job. Slide that back foot forward. Walk the feet all the way over to the other side of your chair. Sit in such a way that your whole bum is on the seat of the chair and your feet are flat. Soles of your feet plant, spine is tall, chin relaxed, roll those shoulders down your back. Nice tall inhale. And as you exhale, just sweep yourself towards the back of your chair. Breathe. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Every breath you take, your inhale lengthens your spine. Every exhale. You just set yourself into the twist just a little bit deeper. Long spine, exhale, turn towards the back of your chair. Continue letting the chin float to the left as far as it wants to go. Beautiful.
And then the chin releases, shoulders release, ribs release, and you slide yourself out. When you come to the edge of your chair again, your right bum cheek comes off the chair, your left foot stays connected. Let's reach the right heel behind us. So knee comes kind of straight pointing to the floor. Your backhand can rest and just begin to push that heel back behind you. If it feels good, one hand can lift to the ceiling or both hands can lift to the ceiling. Push gently and release through that back heel. Just engage the muscles all the way up the front side of that leg into that back heel, feeling the ball of your foot and the sole get a stretch. And then release those hands down. One to the hip, one to the chair back. Stretch that foot even further behind you. Plant some weight into the front leg and then slowly begin to lift and lower. Mm -hmm. Bringing yourself back down onto the chair, straightening both legs a little bit to lift. Because this leg's so far back behind you, it'll be some good work happening. Breathe. 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 Nice work. And let yourself come down. Front knee bends and slide it up to center. And then just roll yourself back to the front edge of your chair. Good. Yeah, starting to feel that movement, maybe three shoulder rolls backwards. Nice. Side bending a little bit here. Inhale the hands up. You can stop anywhere you want. Remember if those shoulders are tight, you can bring them all the way up. Let's bend to the right. Come all the way up to the center and bend to the left. Yeah, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. Breathe out, yeah, up and down, up and down, yep, exhale, all the way up to center, and then those shoulders roll down your back, hands land on your lap, just shake your head gently, nod your head gently, release any tension in the back of your neck, good. And then let the feet walk closer. Your bum shifts right to the edge of your chair. You're feeling how the sit bones are touching, but if you came any further forward, you'd fall. And then let yourself lean forward. If we're gonna stand up, think about where you want your feet to be. Sometimes they're gonna pull in a little bit closer to you. Let your weight shift down all the way into the soles of your foot. Feel how the leg muscles get strong as all you're doing is leaning forward. I want you to notice that your chin can be relaxed. Notice that the back of your neck can be soft. Feel the heel and the ball of the foot all the way across the broadness of the ball of your foot press into the floor. And then lean just a little bit further forward, almost as if you're gonna let your bum lift. That's what you're thinking of. You're not thinking of standing up, you're just thinking of, could my bum lift a little bit? There you go. So start to straighten your legs. Your hands can just press into the thighs or the shins and you come up kind of tipped forward in a half forward fold. Put your hands wherever they're comfortable on your legs. Stretch the spine parallel to the floor. Your gaze is totally down to the mat or the floor. Lift your shoulders up, roll them down your back. Notice the stretch in the backs of your legs. Maybe you're gonna put a bend in those knees. Lengthen the front body like you're pulling the collarbones right away from the hips. Feel yourself get long. The bottom ribs reaching away from the hips, from the pelvis. Good. And then bend into your knees. Take a nice deep breath in and let the hands float all the way up to the sky. Good. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Inhale, lift those up again. Hands to sky. Back down to your heart. Again, hands to sky. Back down to your heart. Good, one more. And down, yes, perfect. Finding your spot where we're just gonna possibly have one hand on the chair for balance. Feet are together, lifting your heels and lowering your heels.
lifting your heels and lowering them. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Yeah. Nice. Good. Separate your, those feet a little bit and let the toes point outward. All right, maybe still hand on chair. We bend our knees, lift our heels, straighten the legs, sink them down. Bend knees, lift heels, straighten down. Beautiful. Last one. Now opposite way, lift heels, bend knees, heels down, straighten, yes. Lift heels, bend knees, press heels down, straighten legs. Good, nice work. And then start to slide one heel back behind you and put the toenails down onto the floor with those toenails down on the floor, perhaps your body will let you lean back, stretching the top edge of that foot. Maybe it's as gentle as it can be. Just a tiny, tiny hint of a stretch. Good. And then other side. Oops. There's the door jam. Toenails pressed into the floor, leaning back only as much as that front side of the foot will let you. Good work, and coming back up. We're gonna take our right toes and stretch them forward, slide them out in a big round arc behind us, and the foot comes up. So if you're doing your right foot, this feels like a capital letter D. Stretch it forward, sweep it around, and bring it up. Yeah, stretch it forward, big circle, bring it up. Now take it backwards, circle to the top of the D. Backwards. Big half circle, slide the foot back. Nice, good. So before we go to the other side, let's do one more thing with the right. We lift the right knee, and I want you to just roll the ankle in space. Big circles, and then do the other way. Change which way they rotate, and put that foot down for a second. Just sway your hips for a moment. Good. Okay, we're gonna lift that right knee again, and this time do circles with the whole leg. Think about your hips staying as still as possible, your body staying as still as possible. Change directions. Lots of uh, balance in the other leg. Good job, and release. You might wanna sway your hands again. Okay, I'm gonna go to the other leg. I don't know how easy it is. Sometimes it's gonna be easier to turn yourself backwards. Other times it'll be easier to move your chair. Left foot, toes reach out, do a big circle and slide back in. This is the reverse image of a capital letter D. Big circle, big circle. And let's go the other direction in. Other direction, in, one more, oh, one more, nice. So when the feet come back into that knee, then I want you to um, take that knee up in front of you and do circles with the ankle. You'll be able to hear some nice sounds probably coming from those ankles. Yeah, and then set it down. Sway those hips a little bit. We're gonna do it again. Right leg's taking a lot of your weight right now. Knee lifts and we do some circles here. Three, four, and so that one direction. Let yourself go the other direction. Yeah, and set that foot down. Beautiful, okay. Feet separate a little bit wider, toes are still pointing forward. Let the hips go all the way to the left without twisting, right? This isn't a twist pose. You're just imagining your hips on that sliding track of a patio door. Yeah, sliding right and left. 
Good. Okay, so from this pose, I'm going to take my feet just a little bit wider. Take the right toes and point them out to the side. And then bring my fingers right up the legs again. Find where the bottom of the leg bone goes into the bottom of the hips and then tip hips to the left again. Good. So because my chair is right here, I can use my right hand to land on it. Hips go all the way out, top hand to my hip. Yeah, I know, sorry, I didn't cue that so that all of you had the chairs in the right place. Yeah, if it feels okay, eventually that top hand can go to the sky. If the bottom hand has a place to rest on the seat chair, it can, or it can even drop down to your leg. Breathe. Imagine you've just slid a piece of toast into the toaster. You are the toast. Whenever I practice this, I feel like my bottom bum cheek is getting a bit of a burn. So I'm going to pull that bottom bum cheek in and it might mean my torso has to be a bit higher, but feel that in your body. Good. Nice work. Firm press into the feet. Let yourself come all the way forward. Hands come down. Nice. So if your chair is just sort of facing the camera, that's probably the best place for you to have it so you can always see me. I'm going to now move my chair to the other side so that you can step back with your right foot and let your left toes point to that chair. Okay? Hips kick backwards to the right. Left arm relaxes on that chair. Breathe. Choose if this top hand can lift to the sky. Reach here. Remember that bottom arm is welcome to release towards the seat of the chair or even to the leg. If you were a piece of toast and I slid you into a toaster, which part of your body would be getting burned right now? Bottom bum cheek for me. So if I pull that bottom bum cheek in, I have to lift higher with my body. Let that be the case for you too. Breathe. Beautiful. Firm press into the feet and let yourself lift all the way up. Hands come down. Nice. Bend into those knees and step the foot forward to the back edge of your chair. Nice. Let's take the right foot, hands to the back of the chair, taking the right foot back behind you, pushing the heel into the floor, letting the left knee reach forward. Just spend a moment here, really letting the back heel land and then allowing your whole torso to lean forward just as much as you can while that back heel stays connected. Keep the shoulders relaxed away from the ears. Push through the crown of your head as if the whole top body wants to move in the opposite direction of that back heel. Nice work. Inhale, let yourself come all the way up and straighten your front leg. Good. So this time the sit bones lead backwards. Remember we've just imagined the fisherman has cast his line, his hook has caught your tailbone and he's reeling it in. The left hip sinks back. Your right hip might reach round forward a little bit. Perhaps your forearms come down on the back of your chair. Yeah, breathe. Inhale and let yourself come all the way up. Bend into that front knee and step the body forward. Good work. Let's go on the other side so the left leg steps back now. And the right knee bends. Reach into that front knee. Stretch through the crown of your head. And allow that top body to reach and extend forward, keeping the chin soft, back of the neck long, shoulders relaxed, stretching through the crown without feeling like the chin or the shoulders need to lead. Feels like it's coming from the torso and the spine. We've got nice weight in the front foot. Breathe. Good. And then press into the feet, let yourself lift all the way up and straighten that front leg. Good. Fingertips on the back of the chair. Begin to fold forward again. 
sit bones are being pulled back behind you. Imagine that fisherman reeling in your tailbone. Right hip sinks back, left draws forward just a tiny bit. Breathing into that nice long flat spine. Breathe. Nice. And then press firmly into the feet. Use the strength of the legs to bring yourself all the way back up. Bend both knees, step forward. Step forward, then walk your feet backwards. Flatten your spine. Push the bum to the wall behind you. Lengthen the arms to the back of your chair. Bend into your knees deeply so it feels like you're tractioning away from your armpits. The whole side body getting a long stretch as you bend into those knees and push the hips back. Straighten the legs, keep the spine flat and walk forward. Nice work. This time as you fold yourself down and in half, I want you to imagine that you, well, you're gonna actually do it. So you're gonna come down and then reach the right foot back behind you. My room's not big enough. Stretching that right heel. So what always tends to happen is we want to lift that right hip up. I want you to imagine that the right hip stays square to the floor. Breathing there. Yeah. Breathe. Pushing through that lifted heel and then standing as straight as you can through the leg that's on the floor. Good. And then draw that foot down. Bend your knees. Stand all the way up. Hands to the sky, hands to heart. Up again, inhale, forward fold. Bend into those knees, good. And stretch that right heel back behind you. Good, nice. Bend into those knees, push through the heel, breathe. Breathe, breathe, good. Sweep that foot down, knees bend. Inhale, hands all the way up to the sky. Exhale, let your hands drop to your heart. Nice work, okay. Knees bend and let yourself be wherever you need to be in your room, on your mat. All right. Imagine that we're going to put a block or something right between our thighs. We because we don't have props, I want you to just feel the toes and heels together. And then imagine you had Velcro from the knee all the way up the inner edge of your thighs and squeeze those thighs together, Velcroing them to each other. Hands to the hips, slide yourself down an imaginary wall so that the back just drops a little bit. Hands drop down in front of you. You can bring fingertips to chair. You can bring arms out in front of you, or you can float them up to the sky. Breathe. I want you to be in this pose, feeling the work in your body, and I want you to feel a real smoothness and flow in your breath. So just deepen and soften your breath, even as you feel the body working harder. Good work, hands rest down and lengthen all the way back up. Sweet. I'm gonna move the chair so that I can have my hands be on the seat of the chair. So maybe you're moving your chair, maybe you're moving you, uh, your body, doesn't matter. As long as you can hear me, it'll be okay. So I'm standing facing the chair seat Inhale, hands up to the sky, and as you exhale, just bring the palms down to connect flat to your chair. Think about bringing your back as flat as it can be, as parallel to the floor as it can be. And then left hand plants in the middle of the chair, right hand releases to the floor. 
Lift that right arm up to shoulder height, and then open your chest. For these first few, I don't want your knees and hips to move. Let's do five, so that's three, without the knees and hips moving. Four and five. Good, bring the right hand down, plant it. Left arm drops down beside you, or in front of you, and it moves up to shoulder height. There's five turns here too. Don't let your right knee and hip move. Don't let them come with you on this twist. Good. I'm gonna do one more. And then both hands can come back down to the chair again. Good, so separate your feet just a tiny bit. This time as you drop your right hand, as you lift it to the ceiling, let your left knee bend so that you'll be able to get a much deeper opening. Good, and then come all the way down and do the left side so your right knee will bend. Left fingers to sky. Good. Now, sweep back and forth. There's an inhale, lift, bring it down. An inhale, lift, bring it down. Good, sweep from side to side. Nice. And both hands come back down to the chair. Sweet. Bend into your knees. Move your hands from the seat of the chair into the tops of your thighs. Stretch the spine straight and parallel to the floor. Maybe you're poking your bum back behind you. We're getting ready to come to standing. Exhale, deep breath in, hands to sky. Sweet, hands down to heart. Good, inhale, hands to sky again. And then as you exhale, put both hands on the chair. This time I want you to walk back with those feet. And it's almost like you're gonna do a downward dog. So some of you will stay right here and some of you will feel like the hands might be able to go to the floor. You can choose. Okay, so just stay where your body wants you to stay. It's a deeper pose than the countertop stretch that we just did. One more breath. And then bring some weight into your hands, shift your shoulders forward, walk yourself out of that downward dog, bend your knees, inhale, hands to sky. Dropping them down to heart. Good. Before we move that chair again, just stand up and let yourself do some hula hoops. Nice. Big circles, feeling all the new little corners of your hips that we forgot we had since last week. Some of you are, um, your movement's been different. Maybe walking more since that's still available to you, or maybe sitting. Maybe we're cozied in couches. Um, watching more TV than we were before. Probably both. <laughs> Making sure you do those circles both ways. Nice work. Okay, I'm gonna stand so that the back of my chair is available for me to touch with my, um, for balance again. Yeah, good. All right, so, Similar to what we did when we were seated on the chair, now I want you to uh, take your right foot backwards and lunge. So it's just the ball of the foot that you'll press down into the floor. Okay, fingertips and touch, touch the chair. And now I want you to think of that back knee bending and straightening. Sort of the way we did it when your uh, thigh and bum were resting on the chair, only we don't have that this time. So bend and straighten that back leg. Good. And then do the same with the front knee. Bending and straightening just the front knee. Breathe. 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 Good. Bend both. Step forward. Left foot lunges back behind you. The ball of the foot presses into the floor. The toes are bent. And then we bend and straighten the back. 
slow and easy breath. Yeah. And then just start to do the same, keeping the back leg straight, bending and straightening the front leg. Some of you will find that this one's easier than when we were seated on the chair. And some of you will find that this one's harder. It's um, dependent on how low you're going, because if the chair seat is lower than this, then it was harder when we were on the chair. Harder to lift up than to lower down. Two different almost movements. Good. And then let's end that, both buoyancy and both knees. Step forward. Okay. Just a little bit more side body work. So take a big step and open facing the front of long edge of your mat again, or I don't know, the camera, your body is open. Front knee bends. You're just gonna open this top arm, reaching it extended side angle, bringing it back up to warrior two. Reaching it extended side angle, warrior two. Extended side angle. Yeah, two more. Yeah, and last one. Good. And straighten that front leg. Good. So your choice, you can turn around and have that opposite leg sink back, front knee bend, so that you are still in uh, holding right hand to the chair and let yourself move from warrior two, front knee bent, to extended side angle. Flow. Nice work. Bring it back up again. Straighten that front leg. Hands rest down and pop both feet to the front edge of your mat. Before I move on, just find your Tadasana. That's your mountain pose. So the soles of your feet will rest into the floor, spine nice and tall. Maybe the shoulders will roll down the back a little bit. Beautiful. Breathe. Long, slow, easy breath. Nice. Breathe. Hands can rest by your side, shoulders are relaxed. Just feeling the soft flow of breath through your body. Maybe there's a gentle bend in the backs of your knees and you're feeling the strength and juiciness of your legs right now. Nice. Okay. As we prepare for our last 15 minutes, you are making a conscious choice for yourself today. Would you rather just um, set your bum down onto your chair again, or do you want to let yourself reach into um, the long flat onto the floor? Okay, whatever feels good. I'd like to lie on our backs today. So whatever you think that might mean for you in terms of extra props, maybe you've got some blankets with you today. Perhaps you'll need one behind the back body and probably one is a pillow. And if you're seated in the chair, you're just gonna let your sit bones rest and nice and flat. Okay, I'm gonna change my screen again so that you're just seeing more down. There. Okay. All right. So the big thing about the pillow is you don't want your chin to be poking up to the ceiling. So if you feel like your chin is poking and the back of your head is down, that is the indicator that you do need a pillow for sure. Because you want it so that your chin is below your forehead 
or at least their level and the back of your neck then it means it doesn't have any unnecessary bends in it. So walk the heels up towards your bum. Imagine your sit bones, we drew straight lines from the sit bones out the end and just place your feet on wherever those sit bone lines are. Good. Left leg is going to stay still and then I want you to open and close your right leg. So fingertips maybe touch the hip bones. I know it's hard to see your computer screen and be lying down at the same time. So I can only open my right knee so far before the left leg wants to like do something weird to compensate. Maybe my left bum is going to come across, maybe the knee is going to open. So just think about having stillness in your left leg and the right knee just opens and closes as much as it's possible without wobbling or counter moving in the left leg. It's just an interesting pose to play with. You can be do doing the same if you're seated in your chair. Good. Right knee comes to center and now let's play with the same idea on the left. Fingertips might be touching the hip bones because then you'll know You'll feel through your fingertips any countering movement that you're making with your hip. Yeah. Nice. Okay, so both knees come back up to center and then we drop both knees out, both knees in. Slow and smooth. Remember, it doesn't matter how far they go out. We just want to draw them in in smoothness and let them um, release open as if everything's on hydraulics. There's no um, shaking. <laughs> There probably is, but you're trying to minimize that and let the movement be as smooth as possible. Good. Okay, so release that. Let's lift the right knee into the chest. Give it a squeeze. And then just point and flex the toes. Roll the ankle. Place that ankle on the left thigh and then sweep the knee away from you. I want you to swing that right knee as if it's a Texas gate, swinging door. And it draws in like a, I'm, I guess that's not a Texas gate, it's like a saloon door. Drawing it in towards your navel and pressing it away again. Good. Knees come into chest, let's put that foot down. Left knee draws in, your fingers can wrap around the thigh or the shin, point and flex your toes, roll the ankle. Cross that left foot over the right thigh and swing the gate of the left bent knee. Yeah, open and close it. Good. Good. Nice, everyone. Okay, so now both knees can pull into the chest. Let yourself do some rolls on the back body. Imagining that you could right now just be massaging your own back. Coming up into the shoulders, rolling down into the bottoms of your hips. Pressing the kidneys and the Soft, low back area, right and left, down into the mat. Feeling yourself press the low back into the floor. Good. Okay, so when that feels complete, you get to bring yourself to stillness. As the feet land on the floor, if there's any extra movement your body requires right now, go ahead. Sometimes a little bridge feels good which would be just pressing your feet into the floor and lifting the hips. This enables you to put the spine down in a nice long straight line. 
Some of you might let the knees fall together and the heels walk out. Some of you have prepped your chair to be ready to receive your calves. Nice. You can put your feet on a couch, a footstool. You could put your feet up the back of a chair or you could let them lie straight out in front of you. You're just picking a position that feels good in your body right now and letting yourself fall into stillness. And as you find stillness, you are also finding your breath. Feeling it draw in through your body. Noticing the pulsation of it today. Noticing how air draws in through your nose. Fills the lungs. The heart harvests everything that it needs from that air. Pumping all the nutrients into the bloodstream. And with every beat of your heart, that blood leaves to deliver fresh oxygenated nutrient packets to the cells of your body. Just imagine the work that your body does like a FedEx delivery man knocking on every cell door to drop off this new nutrient packet and to also pick up the garbage, so efficient. Pulling back into the station of the heart to release those garbage packs into the lungs for your exhale to carry out. The inhale to come in and it all to start over. The sweet efficiency of your body. Delivering exactly what's needed with every breath and releasing anything that every cell doesn't need anymore. Whatever spring cleaning it's been doing, it just gets to release it into the exhale, release it into the bloodstream to be taken to the exhale. And when we move and when we breathe with purposefulness like this, we are just fine tuning this amazing system. bringing intention and purpose to do like a little fine tuning. And so notice the current, the pulsation, the energy. And let your awareness just envision all that lies beneath that sensation the deliberate, deliberate, exquisitely designed systems fueling your body, strengthening and invigorating you, even as we lie here in stillness. <sighs> Letting your next breath be just a little bit deeper Maybe your next exhale, a long, slow sigh. Fingers wiggle, toes wiggle. Maybe your wrists and ankles begin to roll. Big stretches as you need them. Hmm. 
can coming up whenever you're ready. <laughs> oh, thank you, everyone. I'm going to use my new um, unmute all ability that I've just learned. Welcome back. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining me today, everyone. Have a good rest of your day. Namaste. Namaste.